The 1.13 update for Minecraft is around the corner, and there's one aspect of this update that everyone should be worried about. Since late 2013, or Minecraft 1.7, the world generation has generally been the same, with the exception of new stone types and generated structures. But with the 1.13 update, the world generation will receive a massive update to oceans. Now why is this important, you may ask? If you walked in the overworld to build a base from either a poorly secured nether portal or from spawn, players can track the chunks you generated by following chunk borders between the old world generation and 1.13 generation. Now these chunk borders will only be noticeable in ocean biomes and rivers, and that's because that's where the seaweed and other new blocks will generate. To show how easy it is to differentiate between the terrain, to the left is 1.12 generation, and to the right is 1.13 generation. Players can easily follow this clear difference in terrain and find your base. You can even notice the difference in rivers. On the left is new generation, and to the right is old generation, and this is easily identifiable by whether there's seaweed or not. Now because the world generation hasn't changed in over 4 years, this is huge. So many bases have been built during this time period, especially after the massive player influx of June 2016. Now how can you keep your base safe from this update? If you properly secured your nether tunnels and portals, you're probably going to be okay for at least a little bit. But if you didn't secure your portals or tunnels and walked, let's say, a few thousand blocks from an open nether portal to build your base, you need to move immediately once the 1.13 update hits. For anybody planning to create a base in the next few days or weeks, wait! I highly recommend waiting until the 1.13 update because someone traveling in the overworld could stumble upon your path, follow it, and then find your base. Even if you secure your portals and tunnels, it is still likely to be found faster than if you would have waited for the 1.13 update to be released. This video is just a simple warning of what is to come on 2B2T. My advice to you is to always assume the worst and be prepared for it. That's it for this video, and good luck out there.